let's go to the centrifugal compressor, which is an entirely different method of delivering air to the system from a positive displacement machine. The advantages of a centrifugal design is that you get a lot of flow with a very small footprint and very high efficiency, especially at the design point. The way a centrifugal compressor operates is through dynamic compression, where it basically converts kinetic energy into potential energy. And as you can see on the diagram, what happens is the air comes in through the center of the impeller, and then it gets flung out the outside diameter of the impeller, imparting a velocity to that air, which in turn gets converted to pressurized air in the piping in the system. Now, with a multi-stage compressor, what happens is that process gets repeated a number of times. And that's why it can operate at a relatively low speed, which is basically the same speed as the motor, which is typically 3600 RPM. The centrifugal blower technology gradually evolved to the high-speed turbo blower, which is probably the newest player out on the market in wastewater. It incorporates airfoil bearings, permanent magnet motor, and an onboard motor control system. Basically, the whole unit is self-contained with a wide variety of sizes, ranging from as low as 50 horsepower all the way up through 400 horsepower or even more. Now, controlling a high-speed turbo blower means that that blower has to run within the performance map that you see on this screen here. Now, the sweet zone, which you can see right in the center of the diagram, is the area of highest efficiency. Obviously, that's the, where, that's the place where we would prefer to run the most because you get the most bang for your buck. Then there's the area of choke, and then there's the area of surge. Surge is probably the most critical area of a centrifugal blower because if you're running on a constant pressure line, which is pretty typical of what you would see in a wastewater treatment plant, the turndown is affected by the blower running into that surge point, and you want to avoid that at all costs. And therein lies the design limitations of a centrifugal blower. You have to protect the blower and at the same time satisfy the air requirements of the system. So what do you do? Which one do you pick? I mean, they're all good technologies. What you do is you start first with the system. 